So WikiJournal is an uh, open access peer reviewed uh, journal based on uh, Invicuversity. Uh, what we do is we coordinate and publish uh, scientific articles, hum uh, humanities, as well as in medicine. Uh, and we no charge for both the authors and the readers. And we also integrate any improvements and changes and contributions back onto Wikimedia. So that includes Wikipedia, Commons, as well as other languages of Wikipedia as well. So uh, we open, uh, we're, we're open to not just uh, uh, individuals with uh, institution uh, accreditation. We also welcome uh, individual scholars or Wikipedia editors who have worked on, for example, on a good article or a feature article, and they want to submit that article for uh, for peer review. Uh, our, our goal is to bridge the academic and Wikipedia divide because we have heard that a lot of times researchers and professors, they told us that they want to contribute to Wikipedia, but it would not benefit to the career because they could not put that down on the CV, on the resume that they had at Wikipedia. So what we do is we publish peer-reviewed articles that have DOI and a Scopus Index so that uh, other, other researchers uh, could also cite it, uh, cite this article, and we will also publish like a PDF version, which is kind of like the stable version, so that other 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 researchers could cite this article, uh, and and we also publish uh, our the peer review process, so you could see all the all the peer review comments as well as the offers uh, uh, rebuttals and uh, and replies directly for anyone to see, which makes the process a lot more transparent compared to uh, uh, traditional journals where only the editors and also the authors could view the comments themselves. So we believe that this instill a lot of more uh, credibility and also trust towards the uh, peer review process. Uh, most of the uh, reviewers choose to have the identity to be uh, open. So uh, like about 80% of the uh, of the reviewers uh, choose to have their identity, like their name, as well as the institu institution being known. So that further also increases more credibility. We also open. Uh, we are also open to uh, general public to also co uh, comment and look at the and, and look at the paper to to see if there's any concerns or questions that may have, and we post those questions to the authors to address those into the article. Uh, more openly, sometimes we notice that there, the article is bad. For example, there was uh, there was a uh, good article in English Wikipedia, and after we submit it to the peer review process. It was deemed to be very out of date and a lot of inaccuracies. We mentioned those uh, those uh, those problems, and that article was delisted from being a good article. Uh, so it's no longer a, a good article. Uh, I think what what uh, what stands us out apart from the rest is that our entire editorial board across the Wiki Journal of Humanities, Science, and Medicine they are all run by volunteers. So we are we we all uh, we all do do this work uh, without pay. So so that's why we uh, we don't need to charge any fees for the offers to submit. Uh, and of course, for an open access uh, 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 journal, it does not cost any money for the readers to read. Right. Uh, we have heard that for many developing uh, countries or uh, or or or, uh, or up and developing countries, they do not have the means to pay for those open access uh, publication fees, which could run for anywhere from two hundred to even three thousand U.S. dollars, which is more than some of the some of their monthly or even annual salary. So by eliminating all the all the money in question, we believe that we could we could bring the best of the uh, of the science uh, from those communities. Uh, because we have heard they often have uh, issues with publishing the work in uh, international community because they were de uh, because those journals deemed them to be a little bit too small in scope or not impactful enough. But we believe that those uh, the the best impact is actually the contribution made and uh, be made uh, uh, available and aware to those communities, which often is does not uh, use English as a, as a as a as a language of, of communication. So what we could also, what we have done is that we also published uh, articles that were first reviewed in English, and if the author is fluent in another language, they could actually translate that article into their their native language. And we also published both version, both the English and the non English version, uh, so that way the the knowledge could be further disseminated. Uh, one of the most interesting fact we found is that. Uh, the highest citation we got is actually from a medical uh, gallery. So this illustrated that uh, there is a there is a strong need for uh, open 
uh, open access and fr and like freely licensed, like Creative Commons license for images that are reliable and can be reused across multiple platforms. Can you say something, describe the publishing platform itself? Mm -hmm. So what we do is we currently reside in Vikiversity uh, because we are working on a sister pro uh, project proposal uh, for a Wiki journal to be, be to be established as its own standalone sister project. This would allow for a lot more, uh, a, a lot more, uh, for example, technical assistance, installing, installing uh, custom plugins, such as measuring the impact factor, or when uh, when people need to cite this particular article, then uh, it become like a one button cl click that a lot of the journals have, but may not be suitable uh, for on, on Wikipedia uh, or the Wikipedia environment. But we're, we're really integrated with comments, for example, if uh, for images or sound recordings. And of course, we also integrate those, uh, the, the text content back onto Wikipedia. So we would also have like a template that, and, and a symbol that notes that this article on this date has been peer reviewed by, uh, by subject matter experts. Um, so what we do is, uh, first of all, we would uh, look at the look look at the article quality, and the editorial board would decide whether uh, the content itself is in, uh, is suitable to be reviewed or whether it is in scope. If it's deemed to be suitable, we would uh, uh, one of the board members would be serving as a coordinator to, to conduct peer review. Uh, they would uh, they they would contact uh, peer uh, uh, subject matter experts in that article's uh, do, uh, domain and solicit for the uh, for for their for their reviews and we do minimum up to uh, sometimes free or sometimes even more than more more than free uh, peer reviewers if we if we're hesitant in terms of like, or if there's a conflict between one reviewer and the second reviewer and they have like conflicting viewpoints or uh, or, or comments then we often solicit additional reviewers uh, for additional comments and of course like i said during the process, and even after the article has been published, because the talk page remains open, so the uh, so so that it could continue to to feed on and uh, and and critique on that article, uh, and finally, once uh, once the we receive the peer review comments, we post those comments onto the talk page, and then we uh, we inform the offer, and offer uh, the offer will respond directly on the talk page to all those to all those points. And then finally, the editorial board would make a decision whether to pub, uh, whether to accept and publish or to reject that manuscript for uh, for publication. Can you say something more about the editorial close of the discussion? So there's the peer review process. Mm -hmm. That's those are those are vetted reviewers. And then what does the editorial board do once it has enough comments? So we would first look at the uh, uh, the reviewer comments. Uh, and or, and also we look at the uh, the comments by the by the offers either as in the form of like a reply and say like yes I agree and I have made certain changes or I improve based on your suggestions and and I have cited these articles or in some cases it could be a rebuttal because they would say that like well this is just like the introduction uh, so and I will cover more in like section in in, in the discussion section. Or they would say that like I disagree with this because of this reason, or this reason, or this reason. So uh, and the and the and the peer reviewers they would uh, they could also go back and uh, and actually look at those at those comments because like I said those are open on the talk page. You don't need to register. We just give uh, we just provide the peer reviewers with the with the URL on the talk page and a link to their own own comments. They could even see the the other peer reviewers and see what what their comments are. Uh, a lot of the traditional journals, you're kind of like isolated, siloed. You only see your own comments and maybe the editor's comments. You don't see what the other peer reviewers talk about or say that like, well, I only know certain areas. So my comments are only focusing on this particular scope within that article and not the whole article, but they would be left in the dark. For us, we have the whole history. So you know precisely whether the, the offer actually made the changes, even though they claim to have uh, they made those changes, and we see uh, how those rebuttals play out. So there is a lot of uh, interaction uh, with uh, in, in terms of both the offer and also the and also the peer reviewer and the editorial board would look would examine these uh, these uh, comments and also the conversation to determine if it should be published. And we received the we received an open publishing award uh, in 2019 uh, uh, for for our innovative uh, 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 kind of like a review and also a commenting system. You've got three journals: Wiki mm -hmm. Journal of Science, Medicine, and Humanities. Mm -hmm. 
Could you clarify what is in scope for those journals? Yes, so uh, Wiki Journal of Medicine is our flagship journal. So it was first established and it covers any topic that is uh, medically science, uh, medically uh, feud. Because uh, what the, our founder, uh, Mikhail Hegstrom, is a, is a medical doctor and he realized that there is like a really high domain and there's a, there's a need for this kind of uh, uh, open access knowledge for, uh, in, in this field. So science and humanities come along uh, 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 together a little bit later on. For science, it covers from uh, astronomy, uh, biology, environmental science, um, uh, archae uh, a little bit of us on the heart science side of the archaeology, uh, 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 cell science, chemistry, computer science, those all belong to science. And humanity is kind of like a really big, uh, big broad scope like arts, like music, uh, speech, uh, history. We, we do we, we publish quite a bit on about history, uh, especially like med med medieval history. Uh, so those uh, and also like social sciences and also like in humanities. Those would those those would all belong to the humanities. And we are actually also uh, our next up and coming journal is uh, is uh, psychiatry and behavioral science. So that one uh, hopefully it will we will start to launch that in uh, twenty twenty four. Anything else you'd like to share about the journals? Uh, well, we definitely encourage uh, individuals to submit uh, submit articles uh, to the journals to re uh, to review. Uh, we all we especially welcome uh, people who are su uh, subject matter experts uh, in 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 those fields to apply to um, and join us on the editorial board to uh, to help us with a peer review uh, coordination process and also shape how the how the journal pro uh, progress. Uh, for those that may not be the subject matter experts in that field, you're more than welcome to participate in the in the uh, peer review process on the public participation side. So, like checking to see whether the reference is actually stating what uh, what the author wrote down in the in the manuscript itself, or whether a reference is even like related to the to the article in in uh, in question. And yeah, we uh, we definitely welcome more people uh, to uh, serve as uh, reviewers if they are if they are if they're. Uh, subject matter experts in those domains. And we especially welcome those contributions.